Hi, my name is Benjamin Dye, and I am the Chief Software Architect for the National Center for Biomedical Ontology, the NCBO. Our mission is to advance biology and medicine with tools and methodologies for the structured organization of knowledge. In this demonstration today, we'll focus on the NCBO BioPortal 2.0. The NCBO provides a portfolio of technologies and solutions that help us achieve our mission. BioPortal 2.0 enables users to browse biomedical ontologies. It is a repository of the majority of biomedical ontologies used by our community. Without such a solution, our end users would have to go to many different places to access their ontologies of interest using many different tools. The BioPortal provides a one-stop shop for all their biomedical ontology needs of uploading, sharing, downloading, and navigating ontologies. Open Biomedical Resources enables users to use ontologies to access public data and is presented through our BioPortal 2.0 interface. The remainder of our portfolio of technologies will be reviewed briefly at the end of this demonstration. This is the BioPortal homepage. And as you can see, there are 111 ontologies currently in the BioPortal. We have the ability to browse ontologies, uh, the ability to search our ontologies, and also to be able to do bulk uploading and downloading of mappings. If I click on the Browse tab here, this brings me to an alphabetically ordered list of ontologies. The ordering is done by the name of the ontology. Uh, we support a number of formats, including OBO, OWL, RRF, uh, Protege format. Uh, we also display the latest version of the ontology uploaded. We also have the full history there. The author, the person uploading it, as well as the date is also recorded. Now as the user is perusing this list of ontologies, he or she can click on the Explore link, and, and that brings up a navigation view of their ontology of interest. In Bar Portal, one can search for keywords within any ontology within our repository. So I can select any number of ontologies, or select only one ontology, in this case here, NCI Thesaurus, uh, and do a search. So I'll do a search on the term melanoma. And when I click on search, as you would expect, I get the search results listed below. Now I can click on any of these links here, and it will bring up the detailed view of, of that concept within NCI Thesaurus. This is a detailed view of a concept in BioPortal. As you can see, melanoma has been selected uh, in the NCI thesaurus as displayed by this tab. Uh, there are all the, there's the metadata associated with the concept melanoma displayed below. There's also a tree on the left that shows one navigation view of where melanoma sits within the NCI thesaurus tree. So if I scroll to the top here, I see that there are a number of root concepts uh, that are in the NCI thesaurus. And, uh, and we can see where melanoma fits within that tree. Here is an alternate visualization view of the immediate neighborhood of melanoma. Um, as you can see here, there are, are two parents with the has subclass relationship to melanoma, and there are a number of children concepts, uh, again, having the has subclass relationship. I can look at other layout views beside vertical layout. Here is a horizontal layout. I can peruse the uh, circle layout, uh, and in this view, I can also look at a grid layout view. Now, uh, uh, this grid layout view um, um, is ordered alphabetically. Uh, there are a number of other kinds of grid layout view. One thing to note is that what you see here is the immediate neighborhood of the concept surrounding melanoma, but often, uh, ontologies are a lot more complex than simply one level of, of relationship. And so we provide an alternate full FlexVis view that allows you to do a deep exploration of your entire ontology. And that is accessible uh, through our uh, full version icon link on the top right corner, as you see. So this is the uh, full version view. If I click on the full version button, uh, this launches uh, full FlexVis which shows you the same neighborhood we saw before. Uh, melanoma is in the center, but the key difference here is that uh, the uh, concepts of, uh, of interest can be double-clicked and expanded out to see all other concepts related to that. So here, non-cutaneous melanoma has a number of children. Um, if I decide to click on lung melanoma, this expands it yet to another concept and another relationship. 
Um, I click on the consolidated view, and here are all the concepts that I expanded. Now in this view, I can change the layout view. So here's the uh, horizontal layout, uh, and here is the circle layout. And um, also there are a number of grid layouts. This is the grid layout ordered alphabetically. So now uh, a user using this tool really has a very rich user interface to explore uh, their ontology. An end user uh, using this tool would really get a better sense of where melanoma sits within the NCI thesaurus. Um, an owner of the uh, an ontology, let's say the owner or author of NCI thesaurus, can also use this tool to validate that it does make sense that melanoma sits in this location within the NCI thesaurus uh, tree. Now after perusing uh, melanoma, one may want to make a comment or even add an example of melanoma. So this segues into our next capability uh, of creating marginal notes, which is really a local form for every concept within BioPortal. Uh, here, Dr. Jean Kay has created a Wikipedia link to melanoma. He has also uploaded a sample image of melanoma uh, to this local forum. Uh, Dr. Rubin has added a nuclear medicine example uh, describing a melanoma. So uh, this is a very good place for reviewing and adding examples or comments to uh, a concept. If I click on the mappings tab, this shows you all the different mappings associated with melanoma to other concepts in other ontologies. So there's human disease and mouse pathology. Uh, incidentally, a mapping is defined as a relationship from one concept in one ontology to another concept in another ontology. And an alternate way of looking at these mappings is through the All Mappings tab, as you see in the top uh, left corner of this screen, which gives you a bulk mapping view of every single mapping from one ontology to another. The Open Biomedical Resources is accessible through the Resources tab in this detailed view of, mil uh, of a concept. So as you can see on the left side, there are uh, currently five different public resources that are related and mapped in BioPortal. Uh, here, melanoma has been uh, identified in 20 different annotations in GEO. If I ex click on that particular public resource, it lists every single con uh, uh, resource that was found. I can launch that particular uh, link, and it loads up the associated uh, source uh, for which melanoma was identified. Um, either the term melanoma exists within that document, or uh, it's been inferred through the ontology, in this case, the NCI thesaurus. Now, uh, the, the value of this approach is that it gives you uh, a one-stop location to be able to search through many different public resources uh, through one tool. It also allows you to leverage the power and the semantics that's embedded in the ontologies uh, within the bio portal. So instead of going to five different places to using five different search tools, you can go to one place uh, and then uh, do searches based on uh, the, the, the semantics that's embedded within our ontologies. So the NCBO portfolio uh, includes BioPortal 2.0 and Open Biomedical Resources. Uh, we also have the Open Biomedical Annotator, which allows you to use our ontologies to annotate your data. So for example, if I have any particular uh, abstract or free text that I want uh, the bio portal to identify concepts within that, that free text, I can pass it to my annotator and it will identify the associated concepts that are found in that free text. Uh, we have the NCBO fabric and REST services, which uh, is really our service-oriented architecture infrastructure and, and a set of reusable REST services that we are actively developing. This enables users to embed our services in your tools and also to embed our services or reuse our services in our tools. There's also the Emerging User Interface Tools being developed by the University of Victoria with demonstrating innovations in visualization. Uh, so uh, there are a number of user interface tools and widgets above and beyond what you saw with FlexViz that we are actively engaged in developing and innovating uh, upon. And then finally, there is the NCBO Perl server. Uh, we will be announcing soon uh, a production release of our Perl server, which provides uh, persistent URLs for our end user community. Uh, in particular, it provides URIs for biomedical concepts. So this wraps up our NCBO BioPortal 2.0 presentation. 
My name is Benjamin Dye. You can reach me at benjamin.dye at stanford.edu. Uh, please feel free to peruse our BioPortal 2.0 site, uh, which is reachable at bioportal.bioontology.org. Uh, and also, you can learn more about the NCBO at www.bioontology.org. I appreciate your making the time, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.